get no police. Got a call around 10:25 uh, this morning concerning gunshots. There are 53 kids. None of the kids have been injured. Those were just some of the scenes outside a Gatineau daycare center today as frantic parents were reunited with their children. Good evening, I'm David Giroux. And as we just saw, it was a morning of first terror and then relief for dozens of parents at that Gatineau daycare. Police say a gunman fatally shot another man and then turned the gun on himself, taking his own life. None of the children fortunately were hurt. We'll have extensive coverage tonight, beginning with Corey O'Kelly, who is live at the scene of the shootings on Gamelash Street. Corey. David, uh, this evening police are calling this a crime of passion. The gunman armed with a shotgun walked in and killed a custodian inside the daycare. It's believed the custodian was dating the shooter's ex-partner who works inside. Now all this sent a, a shock fear through parents of 53 young children who were still inside the daycare. As word of the shooting leaked out, terrified parents ran to the scene some after abandoning their cars blocks away. It was heartrending to watch moms and dads crying and in some cases screaming as they raced to find their children in the chaos. Only when they were actually clutching their children could they explain the ordeal. You, you freak, you, uh, you don't understand what happened. I just, uh, you just came, that's it. How did you find out about this? Uh, my brother just texted. He said on the news. We're just happy to have our daughter back. Thank you. But they told us everything's under control, and, and then we just waited. So. For more than an hour, police and ambulance personnel carried out the children, many of them wrapped in yellow blankets, and reunited them with their parents. Miraculously, not one child was injured. And by early afternoon, all the families had been reunited. This afternoon, the police chief had words of praise for the daycare workers. The Gatineau Police uh, wants to acknowledge the, the, the great reaction of the uh, daycare uh, personnel that uh, secure the kids inside bo of both, uh, both uh, house. Now this was every parent's worst nightmare. I talked to one young father who was sobbing while holding his three-year-old daughter. He told me this was easily the worst day of his life. Now this evening, police have still not identified the shooter or the victim. They say not all members of the families have been notified. David. Well, some very terrifying moments for parents and their kids. Thanks so much for that, Corey. And here's a breakdown now of the events this morning. Gatineau police say they received the 911 call at 1027 a.m. At 10.30, they arrived on scene and entered the daycare at 225 Gamla Street. There, they found a man already dead with a shotgun by his side. Now, police then evacuated the daycare and moved the children to a neighbor's house. They then went to the house at 229 Gamla, where they found another man who'd been shot. He was declared dead later at the hospital. Now, that daycare is located on the edge of a quiet residential area called Wrightville, and it's right next to the Utaway Regional Hospital. Most people who live nearby knew of the daycare and say they even watched out for the children as they went on their outings. Steve Fisher has reaction now from the community. I've never heard even loud voices or, you know, parents would fight and speak loud to one another. Never, never, never. Michelle Levele lives right next door to the daycare. She was horrified when she saw police converge on the center just after 10.30. It's hard to understand that someone would do that, but in front of children, and of course I was really scared that the children were hurt, but they are hurt because, you know, they have seen, probably heard, they, you know, I've seen them taken out of the daycare. Other neighbors were shocked to hear a gunman would target someone in a daycare center. People want that. This man said it was very serious, appalling. After police arrived, the daycare was evacuated. Another neighbor offered up her home to shelter the children until their parents came to pick them up. The mayor thanked community members and emergency workers for their help. Yeah, I'm here to thank uh, all the services who take part in this operation. And I want to give my support to all the families of Gatineau and the employees of the daycare too. Despite the horrific scene they witnessed here, Levelle hopes the daycare children come back 
I think if they could see that something bad can happen, but the the place is still good and people around are still good, and maybe it could be good for them. I don't know. I'm Steve Fisher, CBC News, Gatineau. You can keep tabs on this developing story on our website both tonight and over the weekend at cbc.ca slash Ottawa.